Hello and Happy New Year my fellow miner. The 2022 race has started and this year I will actually start it with a Torncoin mining video in Windows 10. Don't worry, if you watch the Hive OS video you can still get something out of this as I have tweaked the clock settings and also added Nvidia SMI commands to lower the memory even further. That will further increase your hash rate. If you are wondering why I am running with these overclock settings and why I have chose specifically these then it is simply because I want to increase the hash rate. They have not been tweaked for efficiency but for power. Feel free to change the core clock downwards if you can't run with the same and also the power level further down. If you have already watched my card introduction then go ahead and skip to the overclock settings. Quickly moving on like a ninja, uh, we are going to have a look at the RTX 3060 LHR version 2 from Sotag Gaming. It has been working perfectly and very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus. They are tough series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There. Now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes. A piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. Then we have the RTX 3070. I chill 4X from Inno 3D. It's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch. I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sotag Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060. Oh boy, was I wrong. What a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead. Even though it doesn't really matter because it's part of my mining rig and I never see it. And now it's time for the last card, the RTX 3080 Ti from Eno 3D iChill X4. Yes, I'm very well aware that it looks exactly like the RTX 3070 edition. Um, it is. Actually, the pictures are also exactly the same, so I had to take the one with the box. I said their graphic card is good quality, not their software and definitely not their homepage. That is a very good example of what happens when you take a back-end software developer and put him or her to make a homepage. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. It's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. Create a batch file based upon what you see here in your LOL minor folder. Set your core clock to 250 and your fan speed to 90. Then run your batch file as admin. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti mining torn coin. Create a batch file based upon what you see here in your LOL minor folder, set your core clock to 250 and your fan speed to 90. Then run your batch file as administrator. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 mining torn coin. Create a batch file based upon what you see here, set your core clock to 250 and your fan speed to 90. And then run your batch file as administrator. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti mining torn coin. Set the core clock to 230 and the fan speed to 90. Create a batch file based upon what you see here and run it as administrator. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 mining torn coin. Set the core clock to 260 and the fan speed to 90. Then create a batch file based upon what you see here in your LOL miner folder and run it as administrator. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 Ti mining torn coin. 
set the core clock to 260 and the fan speed to 90, then create a bash file based upon what you see here in the lot miner folder and run it as admin. It's time for us to have a look at the average result and the profits. Before we get into it, then please note that all my overclock settings are highly aggressive and you can easily lower the core clock and still get a very good result. If you have heat problems, then you can change the power level to something lower, try it like 10 watts lower and take it from there, and then continue adjusting downwards until you have a temperature that you can live with. Now let's have a look at the final average result for the RTX 3060 and the profits. 1690.6 MHz per second and 99 watts, which gives an efficiency of 17.077. The profits per day would be two and a half dollars. That is pretty good for an LHR card. Now let's have a look at the average results for the RTX 3060 Ti and profits. 2100.8 MHz per second at 109 watts, which gives an efficiency of 19.273 which will result in a profit of $3.17 per day. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3070's average result and profits. 2653.7 MHz per second at 129 watts, which gives an efficiency of 20.571. That will give $4 per day in profit. Now let's have a look at the average result for the RTX 3070 Ti and the profits per day. 3065.7 MHz per day at 199 watts, which gives an efficiency of 15.406. Profits per day would be $4.53. Now let's have a look at the average result for the RTX 3080 and profits per day. 4075.9 MHz per second at 225 watts, which gives an efficiency of 18.115. Profits are at $6.67 per day. Now let's have a look at the average results for the RTX 3080 Ti and profits per day. 4831 MHz per second at 265 watts, which gives an efficiency of 18.230. Profits are at $7.26 per day. If you watched my HarbOS video on Toncoin, then you'll know that profits are down even though I managed to get the hash rate further up. That is simply due to the value of Toncoin uh, taking a dive just like Ethereum and Bitcoin and all the rest. Also, if you watched the previous video, then you'll notice that I've actually changed the core clock and power level on many of the cards. You can easily change them to the same in HiveOS and get better results. Also, you can easily run the NVIDIA SMI commands in HiveOS to get even better results. If you haven't subscribed, now it's a very good time to subscribe. If you already have subscribed, then thank you very much. That is all for this time. I hope to see you in the next video.